to my channel. Hi, I'm Dr. Tibarati. I'm a first year general surgery resident in Arjikor at the moment. So today's video is going to be very different. It's going to be raw, it's going to be unfiltered and it's going to have all the things that I wish my peers told me before I took up general surgery residency. I know with the NEET PG exam over, this is uh, probably the only important thing that you're looking for because I know, let's face it, like uh, this is going to be the most important decision you ever make because uh, I mean, yeah, you can leave your partner, you can divorce your partner, but here there's no backseat, there's no going back. Once you have chosen it, you are settled for life. Yeah, that's right. You heard that right. So yeah, without further discussion, let's get right into the video. It's definitely going to be, you don't really have any of these. Even in the days when you don't have to be physically present in the hospital, you are still working. There are the staff, the, the nursing staff calling you, the GDA people calling you, you know, with uh, updates on patients, like what to do, this patient is not passing urine since this, are, this many hours, like there's no off days. Like, and for a first year resident, you have to be physically present also in the wards, like basically all day, uh, especially in the starting phases onwards you might get some of this provided your juniors are good but yeah if your junior is also like joining the residency with the thing with the thought of uh, off days so yeah no off days either for you or for your juniors yeah so that's it no off days learn to survive on almost no sleep yes like uh, during the first months of my residency i had to survive on like two to three hours of sleep every day and like uh, and on ad days like zero sleep you don't get to sleep at all you are like awake for i don't know as long as 48 40 hours maybe so yeah say no to sleep <laughs> like forget about sleeping in the first year of residency uh, that's it like uh, emergency cases they are taken up at any time say a patient uh, admitted who was originally a case of subacute obstruction that a patient went into total obstruction and that patient has to be taken up for x lab right now so yeah right now means right now and you have to be in the ot so yeah once i remember like it was uh, a 24 hour duty like the ad day the next day and the case got posted around like 2 a.m uh, <laughs> that day itself so i was basically awake for 2.5 whole days straight and this is like uh, the rawest <laughs> truth uh, that that is out there and being a general surgery resident you cannot like you know have expectations of sleeping or even eating and which brings me to my next point loss so this weight loss factor this thing is actually good if you're someone like me you know i lost eight kgs in the first uh, two to three months of my residency so it was a good change for me like i lost a lot of face fat like if you see uh, some of my previous videos you will see the difference uh, so yeah it was a good change for me but if you're someone who's already in a good shape and you don't really need to lose weight uh, in those cases it becomes very weird looking like one of my friends another first year general surgery resident uh, like he was you know of a normal built when he joined residency but now he has like lost so much weight and you know it just uh, like sticks in the eye like i just look at him like we all just look at him and we go like what happened to you how did you even lose so much weight so that's another thing to consider and this is inevitably bound to happen i saw one of rohan khandelwa sir's video like he mentioned that he lost seven kgs in the first month itself i was very skeptical about that but once i joined residency i actually uh, got to see how you lose weight like um, on some days i didn't get to eat anything at all like i like you survive on tea the whole day like that's another practice like tea or coffee so yes you are going to lose weight no matter you want it or you don't want it you are going to lose weight crucial point the senior factor uh yeah i would like to call it the senior factor because some of them are too good and some of them are not so good but shush <laughs> uh yeah i do hope i don't get penalized for this but yeah it is what it is 
uh, you know during uh, january or february i cried like twice and people who know me they would actually relate to this fact that uh, like why did you even cry like i didn't even cry after my breakup that much but yeah i cried on two days uh, it was after a like really nice scolding uh, but yeah i am like laughing right now when i'm talking about it but when it happened back then it was not so good but what i can advise is uh, don't take all uh, the stuff to heart because uh, you know at the end of the day it's your seniors uh, especially in a specialty like general surgery who are going to teach you stuff so if you just take all the things they say to heart uh, like you know it's going to affect you in the long run itself so my advice is listen and then forget like some of the time i think i can block out the talks also like i don't even like listen because i know whatever they are saying they are saying you know out of the momentary anger and they are not a bad person right like, yeah i still like to believe that they are not a bad person they are still helpful because yes they have scolded me a lot but they have also taught me so much so yeah don't take uh, the senior factor to heart and you'll learn to survive it with time like remember jo log daatte hai wohi log sikhate hai like uh, rather than having a like totally inert senior it's better if you have some reactive ones uh, because you know they are the ones who are going to teach you all the surgeries like uh, in general surgery uh, your best bet of learning is from your seniors so yeah do try to have a healthy relationship with them and you know that's it the gross factor uh like let me tell you surgery is not all glamorous you have to handle poop you have to handle all the ew discharges like all day long so if you are someone who has a problem with all this then general surgery is not for you babe it's not for you like honestly uh like you know at first you might feel a little gross but yeah it like you know you get used to it over time Uh, yes so if you are someone who cannot handle that at all you might reconsider your decision of taking up general surgery because uh, like there are so many cases of hemorrhoids and so many cases of rectal bleeding like i feel i am sticking my finger up people's butts you know all day long like uh, at least 15 to 20 times on the days i have opd and even on the remaining days like in surgery what i learned in this last 7 months is like if the patient is pooping the patient is okay so yeah it's all about that next you are going to have to develop the habit of standing like 15 hours a day like round that up maybe more maybe uh, less but yeah approximately 15 hours a day you are either walking or you are standing in the ot either way you have to develop the habit of walking running and standing all day like when i joined uh, first i remember my legs swelled up so much i had to like come home and take foot baths like i told my immediate senior that you know my leg has swelled up so much he was like go home like uh, take beta deed and just put your feet in the water and just sit there and i also used to uh, take some medications to you know decrease the swelling and pain but yes it was unbearable at first but now it doesn't really matter anymore and i have developed the habit so yes if you are like worrying about if you can you know develop the habit of walking and standing that long like don't worry about it it might be a difficult first few days but you'll get used to it with time favorites a uh, totally messed up personal life like you are in the wards and you are working so much you basically don't have any time to you know talk to your partner go out on dates because the only times you are getting off you are utilizing that for sleeping especially in the first 3 to 4 months forget about all this you are like things are going to be very difficult for you if you are in a relationship thankfully i had a nice breakup before i joined my residency so i got saved that way <laughs> this is about the silver lining like the only silver lining is your love for the subject yes that is what is going to get you through your toughest days because at the end of the day you are doing something you actually love you are like doing something you dreamt of all your life so yes that's it uh like all the uh, scoldings all the you know hard work it finally makes sense because you know for you 
or for me it's surgery or nothing so if you have if you have an attitude like that definitely definitely go for surgery because it's ultimately very rewarding at the end of the day what i can advise is like avoid taking surgery if you're just in it for the glamour or the money because you know trust me there are like so many uh, different ways to fame these days like uh, even initially you don't make as much money like you make very little like whatever stipend we get and it's like hardly comparable to the other ways by which you can like get glamour and money so yes don't take it up if you're taking it for the glamour and money it's not that initially female factor in general surgery like this is a very valid factor like at first people refused to take me seriously like i was not taken as seriously as my male counterparts and it's what it is but you have to you know to be feisty yeah, that's the right word feisty so that no they have to take you seriously um, they say that general surgery is not for women they will pass on very sexist comments what i used to do is like pretend as if i had not heard them but yes also uh, like a few instances are there where i had a falling out with my peers because of this but yes over time you know they know you are as good as them and like you refuse to step aside when i joined my residency one of uh, my uh, senior most pgts and another like sr was uh, were all women so and they were very good surgeons like from what i could see they were like really good so yes just because you are a woman you don't have to like you know back away or shy away from taking up general surgery because there are women there are so many women these days in surgery and they are doing as good so yes don't consider the women factor as much if you're taking up general surgery uh it you'll get used to it with time and there's no such thing as you cannot have a nice practice being a woman uh, because <laughs> surgery also includes breast right So yeah, I can see in my OPD all the patients lining up to me to get their breasts examined because you know patients always would prefer their breasts being examined by a female surgeon. And there's that. That's just one of the options. Like uh, there are options in plastic surgery as well. Uh, I mean, I I don't think that there's uh, like you know, especially uh, women like you know fields for surgery that are specifically for women. you can take up anything but right now you're taking up general surgery and this video on just that and uh, and you don't know what your future holds so don't just shy away from taking up general surgery if you are a girl like you might not be able to forgive yourself later on for this and uh, this thing like you know like whatever i said in this part that thing you know is right from my heart so yeah that's it then do i regret taking up general surgery hell no i would take up general surgery over and over again and probably that is the best decision that i've taken last year like in january 4 uh, yes like it was surgery or nothing and i do not regret taking general surgery at all so yes it's rewarding it's good like go for it if you love it so i would like to give a few tips on surviving uh, the residency The first one is try to take everything sportingly. Like my dad used to tell that to me whenever I used to go home and rant about all the things that happened. He used to be like, try to take things sportingly, and it would be okay with time. Yes, I started doing that, and things got definitely better. Next important tip is make good friends. Your friends are the ones who are going to lift you up in your worst days. like spending time with them you know just talking or having tea that will fix everything that you went through for an entire week uh, that's it i am blessed to have found like you know so many good people over here and some of them have become my closest and we are just uh, you know each other's emotional support for the good as well as the bad days residency is nothing if you don't have a few good friends no one's perfect your seniors were also not so perfect as you see them today but with time you know they tried and tried and so they are making the mistakes lesser and lesser each day but nobody is perfect everybody started where you are today 
सो येस डोंट टेक योर मिस्टेक्स टू हार्ट एंड द मिस्टेक्स आर हाउ यू लर्न लाइक आई यूज टू फॉर गेट द ब्लड रिपोर्ट्स ऑफ एवरी पेशेंट वेन आई फर्स्ट जॉइन रेसिडेंसी एंड आई टू गेट स्कोल्ड इट सो मच फॉर नॉट नोइंग दैट बट नाउ वेन आई लुक एट अ रिपोर्ट आई इमीडिएटली नो वट टू लुक एट एंड इमीडिएटली हैव द थिंग्स रजिस्टर्ड इन माई हेड सो येस यू बिल्ड ऑल दिस लिटल लिटल हैबिट्स ओवर टाइम एंड इट डजेंट अकर ओवर नाइट सो येस फर्स्ट एवरी डे बिकॉज दैट माइट वी द ओनली मील यू गेट सम डेज लाइक नॉर्मली वी डू द एग्जैक्ट अपोजिट थिंग वी स्किप द ब्रेकफस्ट एंड देन वी स्टार्ट गेटिंग हंगरी बाय लंच और डिनर टाइम एंड दैट जस्ट यू नो सैबोटाज इज एवरी थिंग सो येस माई एडवाइस वुड बी टू गेट अ नाइस ब्रेकफस्ट वॉट एवर यू डू जस्ट लीव बिफोर लिविंग योर होस्टल रूम और योर फ्लैट लाइक मेक श्योर यू गेट समथिंग टू ईट एंड देन Like surgery as a brunch is very rewarding. Like uh, in the th- uh, fact that you get to heal the patient with your own hands, you don't have to wait for the medicines to work because you're taking out the pathology yourself. And there's just so much satisfaction in doing that. Like even for my first appendicectomy, like uh, like you know when I actually uh, like took out the appendix, I like it was so satisfying actually. And you'll always remember the first patient you operated on. Uh, so yeah, there are like so many little joys along the way. Like it just makes it makes all the hard work worth it. You know, sleep uh, whenever you can. like really sleep whenever you can and wherever you can it doesn't mean uh, like matter if you're sleeping in the doctor's room or in the ward benches or in your hostel bed just try to squeeze in as much sleep as you can and what i would suggest is go out of the hospital at least once a week you know like you need to quit the hospital sometimes especially for the ones like me who stay in hostel and they are basically in the hospital campus like all day every day like you people really need to go out like if you don't uh, you won't you know get that fresh air and you would still carry the uh, you know all the frustrations from your previous day and that's not healthy so try to go out with your friends or your dates or your partners like you know at least once a week relations with all the staff you know the nursing staff and the other staff who work there because you know they help you so much along the way like they can save you from your senior scoldings they can do little bit of work here and there if you have good relationships with them they provide you updates before they update your seniors so that you can you know manage the situation before the news goes to them you know what i mean so yes try to have good relationships with all the staff and don't pick up like unnecessary fights over anything brings us to the end of our video and what did you decide are you going to follow your dreams and take up surgery like i did like i would totally advise you to go for it because uh, like i said it was the best decision i have ever made and i hope like this decision works out for you as well i know it's okay to be a little scared and overwhelmed at first but trust me you will get the hang of it with time so don't be scared you know with all these things that i just said these are just a part of the journey all these things just build up your endurance which is like needed so much being a surgeon and uh, so and don't shy away from hard work and if i could survive this residency you can do so i'll be ending the video if you guys found the video helpful do let me know in the comments and also your thoughts about this uh, i would love to hear from you what you thought of this video because you know it's kind of off beat and i try to be as honest and frank as possible and i really value you guys comments so yeah uh don't forget to follow me on my socials and like and share this video with your peers who are wanting to take up surgery or you know who are just done with the exam and are wondering what branch they should take uh, yeah that's it i'll be seeing you in my next video so bye for now